So here I got this is actually a fire TV and the fire TV actually hooks through USB. I took the case off my fire TV stick because it actually helps it cool down because they kind of have a problem overheating where they slow down. But do you see the device underneath it? I'm going to link that to you. That device right there allows you to change any HDMI to any other legacy format. So you can actually change HDMI to RCA, to um, optical, or anything like that. So there's one of my MX3s right there. So that Amazon Fire Stick is going through the converter box which changes its HDMI signal to a stereo optical signal. But I also have it connected to the standard stereo too because the converter box also is able to spit out the um, stereo signal just in raw analog form. And it doesn't sound as good. You can see how like the volume is quieter when you do it through aux. So this is actually the Fire Stick playing stereo through the converter box from HDMI through the converter box out into aux, which stands for you know the RCA connectors, the red and white ones. This is the same thing, the Amazon Fire Stick going through the converter box and then outputting optical. If I try connecting anything else through optical, even actually my phone, if I try connecting like anything that could potentially shoot anything more than two channels, like more than stereo, it's not going to be able to handle that because it is just a stereo two channel amp. It's not going to be able to handle like, you know, obviously a, like surround sound Atmos or anything like that because it wouldn't really make sense for it to do that anyway. And they wouldn't want to pay a license for something that they wouldn't actually be able to do. So what you'd want to do is make sure that all your systems are set to stereo if you want to actually have your stereo play stereo. Um, under USB, it's actually a lot smarter. It pretty much will figure out anything that you feed it because your USB is a signal that's actually able to to uh, it's it's input and output. So when you have a computer or a phone or something connect to USB, they handshake. So your computer will tell your phone. Or, sorry, your computer or your phone will tell the DAC what signal it's receiving, and then it'll play that accordingly. Everything else, a Bluetooth does the same thing. Everything else is actually a one way connection. Optical, coaxial, and aux are all one way connections, meaning that the source has to be stereo and it has to just send it to the unit because the unit has no actual way of communicating back to the TV or to the Xbox, what it's capable of. So you have to actually set it manually. So yeah, that's pretty much how I use it. Um, yeah, I would be careful with the optical cables and make sure you don't crank them, that's the only issue. And even if you do crank them, it's actually possible to uncrank them, but it's, it is very likely for you to crank them and cause like a little break, which would make it so that the optical cable wouldn't work anymore. So, hmm, that's about it, pretty much. Well, I'll message you tomorrow, see how you're doing.